Eso se pone en la parte de atrás del celular y le puede poner. Él está bien, él, él trabaja más en, en Manhattan. You know, we have a model that getting to the vaccine is half the goal. The other, the other half of the goal is really preparing communities to receive it. And that means building trust and rapport so that a broader range of communities feel that they can trust and are ready to receive the vaccine. And so that really means being out in the community. And through our participation in this study, we've been able to set up this, this van out in Queens and Brooklyn and really meet, with, meet the community where they're at. So, you know, at the root of a lot of the questions is a sense of mistrust, um, a sense of fear that's based on past abuses, you know, by medical institutions, public health institutions on communities of color. And so that's expressed in many different ways. For some people, it's, you know, I just don't trust the medical institution or researchers. For some people, that's expressed as a conspiracy theory or a fear that they might be injected with a chip or a fear that their information is being collected for other surveillance purposes, for example. So this, this is for this. It's a tiny one, so it takes a little bit longer, but it's less painful. Yeah. So I think it's important to participate in experiments. However, my family had concerns with this particular trial and had actually asked us, asked each member of the family not to do it, <laughs> which they don't know I'm doing this yet. Hello, hello. The product has arrived. At one point in the summer, I, I counted the people who I knew of who had either contracted and or died, and it was over 20 in the summer. Um, and this doesn't seem to be going away. So I, I'm much more afraid of the disease than the vaccine trial. focusing on that date because there's um actually I have a friend who started a food pantry. So some of the main questions I receive are is the vaccine safe? What are the side effects? You know a big question I get too is how did we reach a phase three study so quickly given that there's a general perception that vaccine studies take a long time to roll out. <laughs> So to be eligible for the study, you have to be 18 and older. Now it's really critical for us to have a study population that is diverse and representative of the populations that have been most impacted by COVID. So again, that includes black populations, Latinx populations, older adults, those with underlying conditions. If we're not, if we don't speak English properly or we don't feel comfortable in the environment we're in, then it's easier to feel more skeptical or more down about something new that comes out or to be against it. I am afraid, yeah. This is about about because I hear I hear about uh, some people don't uh, die, some people have trouble and all the stuff. I have, yeah, but later. Okay. Yeah.
give me everything in Spanish. Uh, no. Don't be afraid. No, just trust in them. They're out here to help people anyway. So why not take advantage of it? And of course you take care of yourself. You wash your hands daily, every time. Hand sanitizer, they give it away.